Welcome back. In this session, we're going to look at track types. They're the different types of ways we can include different audio and effects and instruments into our sessions. So, of course, the first type of track is an audio track. And in Pro Tools, there's a couple of ways of adding tracks. You can go to the track window and go new. Then you get this dialog window and you can have mono track. You can add a stereo track. And you could add an instrument here as well, stereo instrument. And if you are working in post, then of course you can also add into Pro Tools surround and much wider tracks. Stereo is the maximum width in Studio One for now. So there we have a mono audio track, a stereo audio track, a stereo instrument track, and then we just hit that and they appear there. And you can see them appearing. Of course, we can name them as well. So in Studio One, it's very similar as well. We can come in and we can go track, add track, and that's where you can have the dialog window in much the same way as Pro Tools. And you can add audio tracks, instrument tracks, automation tracks, or folder tracks as well, which are also available. And of course, you can name them here, which is very helpful. So when you start off, you could, you could name them. So for example, if we want to make it look just like the Pro Tools one, we could go Audio 1. Then we choose the width, mono or stereo. We can have track presets as well, which is really helpful. So if I want kick, I can say Rust kick, and I can bring that in. I can choose our input and our output as well from there as well. So you can choose all your routing, everything, from the Add Tracks dialog. And then we just press OK, and the track appears. There it is, Audio 1 in the window. So also then we can also do track Add a stereo track, add an instrument track. So if we just delete these tracks for a moment, get them out, and we delete this track as well. I'm going to use a shortcut, Shift T, and that's gone. The other way we can do it, in Pro Tools you can double click here, and then you've got the modifier keys, we press the command key, that will give me audio and stereo, and the alt key will give me the instrument. So that's the other way of doing it as well in Pro Tools. The thing you'll notice in Studio One is that the master fader is already built in. In Pro Tools, you need to actually create a master fader for the session there. And there it's appeared in the mixer and in the session. So as I say, you need to add that. Now, a few things about Studio One's adding of tracks. We can again double click and create the track by double clicking. Now, if you want to add an instrument, in Pro Tools, you would go Alt and double click. Then you would go into your plugins and for example, let's say we want to add Spectrosonic Stylus. That's how you add it in Pro Tools. Studio One is a bit simpler. You go to the browser, you go to Instruments, you go down and find the instrument and you simply drag it in to the track. And now we have created an instrument track with Stylus in it. Let's say we wanted to add some reverb to that stylus. We would need to create first a bus. First we would go track, new, stereo, auxiliary input, create. Then we need to do some routing too. So we need to send first from here. So we need to make sure that our sends are open. And we'll close some of those inserts too. We create the send, we choose a spare bus. We'll go bus 7 and 8. Then we need to bring it back into Pro Tools as well. Let's just bring this over here. So we have to go bus 7 and 8. So now we're routed out and back in. And then what we also need to do then is we need to add the plugin to give us the reverb too. So Abbey Road Plates. And now we've got Abbey Road Plates as a plugin working. It's called an auxiliary, and we can name that as reverb. In Studio One, it's a bit different again. What we can do is we can just expand that slightly so we can see the sends part of it. We can come to our effects. We can find our Abbey Road plates. There it is in stereo. Drag it in. It inserts it, and it creates the send coming back in as well. So there's no need to create a send and then route it all through. It's all automatically done simply by dragging and dropping 
onto the track that you want to add that bus on. As you can see, it's called an FX bus. Now, also, there's tracks within Studio One, so we still do have the bus for that track. So now we have a bus track on there, and we also have an effects track on there. We can also add a VCA to the track as well. And now we have a VCA. Or we could undo that, and we could actually add a VCA to both that and the reverb, add a VCA for the selected channels. To add a VCA to these tracks, we come to Track, New, Stereo, VCA Master. We have a VCA master now, and then we could assign those to that master by selecting both of them. Command G to create a group. And there we go, that's now on that VCA as well. So we now have a VCA controlling those like you would in Studio One. So in summary, in Pro Tools we have mono and stereo and surround audio tracks. We also have Buses, we also have a master fader, but unlike Studio One, you have to create the master fader first, but in Studio One, it's included when you actually open the sessions. Buses are used in Pro Tools for both effects and for grouping. In Studio One, we have both effects channels and we have buses. So that's tracks and channels in Pro Tools and Studio One. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.